Hi there, welcome back to the Kokomo Lanterns 2023 coverage of the Kokomo Municipal Elections. Today I have with me candidate for First District City Council, Democrat Tashana Summers. Yes. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. And Tashana, could you tell everyone at home a little bit about yourself? Um, well, I'm a recipient of a lot of things here in Kokomo, being that I graduated from Kokomo High School in 97. Um, I've had family here for at least since I was five. Um, so I consider myself a true native. Uh, I have a family of three children that I raise. I have also um, aunts and uncles that worked throughout Delco and Chrysler and things like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so you've decided to run for the first district seat. Can you tell yes. me what prompted you to run? Just wanting change, wanting the old spark that I remember throughout my youth here in Kokomo. Um, being, like I said, being a child of Kokomo, I just remember the way things used to be and how there were so many things that were seeming obtainable for us at an easier rate. And I feel like having a voice now will help to spark those things again. Okay. So if you are elected on November 7th, what would you like to accomplish as a councilwoman? Um, I want to look for District 1 to be revitalized. I want us to get some more pride because we have a, a negative connotation, I guess you can say, of being the North End where people think of the North End, they think of poverty or they think of the most drug abuse um, areas. And I want to dispel that. I want to re repopulate it. I want to give us things that we don't have, such as the medical desert, the food desert. We have stores that are coming, but I don't feel that they're sufficient enough to provide the people of the North End, the District 1, um, with adequate food, adequate medicine. Um, I know that I take medicine myself, and with those things, I have to drive either to Kroger's and Dixon or I have to go to Walmart. Mm -hmm. Those are my two most local options for me, and I feel like we should have things on our side that helps us to maintain a quality portion of life. So I want to get in there and I want to start looking to expand um, and maybe meet the neighbors, which is Peru, Grissom. We have Grissom right there at the top of us. We have a prison at the top of us. Um, and so I want to look to enhance the communication, the, the activeness between the, the portions of those areas of the city. We can grow housing residential. We can look to do programs for people who are first-time home buyers. We can have programs to help people revitalize their homes. Um, I don't know if you know about Earl the Barber. You're going to have to tell me. Okay, he's a, he was one of the first bar black barbers in Kokomo. Okay. And that right there, I feel, is a portion of history that people don't know. We can have history on, our, on the northern end of town, but we have to look into the things that are on, from the northern part of town. There are things that I feel we can um, accommodate the people on the northern end with maybe a better hubcap for police. Um, mm -hmm. We can have our own little small district over there that we can garner some more, utilize some more um, police officers in that area. So I'm looking just to revitalize and make us feel more proportioned as far as being fair, I guess you can say. Um, I think Kokomo has a lot of sections and I think if we pull those sections together we could have a better understanding of who we are because I remember us being the city of first and that's what we had pride in being the first to do things the first car you know and so forth so on so I want to get back to that pride versus being so segregated and just your side this side this side and we have ideas of how it is here all right very good so again, this is Tashana Summer. She's running as a Democrat in the first district, which is the northern portion of the city. Uh, so when you go to the uh, to the ballot box on November seventh, if you are in that district, you'll find her name. Um, thanks so much for watching our political coverage this fall. We'll be back soon with another candidate.